Hey guys, it's Joanne here, and I have a little bit of a different video for you today. By request, one of my subscribers was asking me about some video editing software, and I use, I actually use iMovie for my video editing, but in today's video, I wanted to show you guys how to be able to do some basic edits using YouTube's free editor. Stay tuned. So I normally don't do these kind of tutorials on this channel. Um, I normally do them over on my other channel and I will leave a link to that channel in the card above and also in the description box because a lot of my future videos that I'm going to be doing more specific tutorials on other editing softwares, for example, editors for uh, iPads and for Android cell phones. I'm going to be doing those future videos over on my other channel. So head on over there and subscribe to that channel. So first of all, I'm on my YouTube home screen. And the first thing you want to do when you're getting ready to edit a video is you want to go to your, uh, st your studio. So I'm going to click on my picture down here and we're going to click on a creator studio right here so we can get into that mode of the YouTube area. And again, this is all using a my computer you should get the same access to this area on whether it's a Windows computer whether it's a Chrome book or it's a Mac laptop you should see the same options as I see I, I happen to be using the Chrome browser in this instance so we're gonna get right to it we're gonna get right to it right to it right to it so the first thing you have to do is you have to first have the video uploaded to your channel, right? So that's the step one. Assuming you have one video and you need to do edits inside of a video, you need to upload the video to your YouTube channel. So what I'm gonna do is I am actually gonna click upload from here and I'm gonna find a video that I can quickly edit for this tutorial. Before I even choose a file to edit, I'm gonna mark this as private because I don't wanna accidentally send this out to publish. So the first thing you do before you even pick your file is to mark it as a private video. Then we're gonna click on the YouTube arrow and we're gonna click to choose a file. Okay, so let me do, let's do this, this video. Okay, this is 48 seconds. I recorded it on my phone, put it on my computer. It's 1280 by 720. I think this is just a video of my sister's garden. So we're going to click open. And you don't really need any of this stuff because this is going to be edited. So we're just going to delete this. And if you want, you can just call this, I'm going to call this garden or edit. Okay, because this is going to be the raw file that you're uploading before you actually get edited. We don't need any of this stuff because we're going to be tagging the final version of this video. While it's uploading, you just want to make sure, double check, it still says private. It's going to actually tell you down here, this video is currently on private and we're still uploading this and it should be done very, very soon. So we're going to hit done. I got the email that says, congratulations, your video's on YouTube. And so what we're going to do now, let's go back to Creator Studio. Okay. And now it says garden for edit. So we're going to go to the video and we're going to click edit. I'm going to go right into the video to edit. Now, the options that you have here when you go to edit is you have enhancements. Okay, if you need to make enhancements, which the majority of the edits are going to be done right in this enhancement area. All right, we also have audio where you can add maybe a uh, track, an underlying chat, an underlying track to the video uh, with copy, copyright free music. Uh, you can also add an end screen or annotations, which is something fairly new. I have it in my creator studio because I'm in the beta. I'm not sure if, if everyone has that available to you. So if you do, this is an opportunity for you to be able to uh, take 
take advantage of using an end screen, putting links to future videos, reminding people to describe. You also can pop in cards here. So this is this is where you can, if you're shouting out another channel, you can add an iCard, you can put a link to somebody else's channel, all kinds of stuff. And this is your closed captioning. <laughs> draw a blank. I was like, duh, Joanne, draw a blank. So if at any time you're not liking what you wanted to, um, not liking what you were doing, if you're going through this edit, you can always click uh, revert to original and start all over again. But we have some options here. We have some quick fixes. There's an auto fix. There's filling light where you can change it and it gives you the original and then it gives you the previewed version as to what it looks like. So there's basic lighting adjustments that you can do. You can add a little bit of more saturation. Um, you can take a certain area of it and you can, you can slow it down. You can speed it up. Uh, contrast, color temperature, you can stabilize. So if, if you had a shaky video, you can click to try to stabilize it and YouTube will do its best to try to stabilize the video a little bit more. Now, we also have a second little option after the quick fixes, we have filters, okay? In the filters is an automatic where you can apply a color palette to, and you see how it changes the color palette from the original. So you can choose to do that if you want, or you can go, you know, HDR-ish. There's a whole bunch of color patterns you can do here. You can apply this type of a pattern. I'm just gonna go through and kind of show you these. You can make a certain area of it pixelated. You can make, a, you can make the whole thing, make it look like a cartoon. That's kind of cool, okay? So if you decide you don't wanna do this, Again, you have revert to the original, and it'll revert to the original video. Now, the other one we have is we have blurring effects, okay? So this is if you needed to blur out a certain portion of the video, and you probably noticed that in a previous clip when I first came into my Creator Studio, I blurred out my... Uh, my views and my monetization of my channel, I blurred that out because that's private information. So I used this custom blurring feature to blur that out for you. So if you ever needed to blur out an address or if you did a, a friend mail and you accidentally had the address on there, no worries. All you have to do is come into the quick, come into a quick edit here instead of re, you know, downloading and re-editing the whole video. Boom. You can click on the custom blur and just custom blur that whole section out right for you. Let's go back to revert. And we're going to come back to quick fixes here. How do you edit stuff out of it? Okay, there is underneath quick fixes, we have the trim function. All right, so the trim function, how that works, I'm going to click on trim. And how that works is let's say you want to find an area you want to trim out, you just let this go and then you hit pause. All right, down here. You hit the split, you let it play some more. So like, let's say you wanted to cut out a whole section that you were talking about, or even if it was just like a word, or maybe you said, um, and you wanted to get rid of that, you can just let it play. Then hit stop. When you want it to hit stop, you hit split again. And then you have the center area here. You just click delete and boom, that whole center part is now deleted from the video okay if you wanted to delete something from the beginning you can just drag you know drag from the beginning and it'll get rid of some stuff here from the beginning if you want uh let's see let me hit clear okay you can let it play to the end you can just drag this thing down to the end if you knew there was a certain spot here playing watching the video hitting a spot you want to edit click split, let it play some more, hit pause, click split again, and now the split is between the two blue lines and then you click the X. And then when you're done with all your edits through the video, you can do this like as minute as you want. You can do it as minute as you want and then you hit done. Okay, and then once you hit done, what it will do is when you are 
you can play it to test it to make sure you like the, the way it's edited and then you can hit save and it'll actually save the video it'll actually replace the video that you originally uploaded or you can click save as a new video I always recommend you click save as a new video just in case you totally mess up then you can easily replace and go back to the original video and start the process all over again okay so we're gonna hit save as a new video and it's gonna go through the edit it's gonna say copy of garden for edit and this is the original garden for edit so this is some time for it to render the video and then have it available to actually view but as you can see I trimmed out four seconds of this video by doing that trim feature now if you have multiple videos that you need to put together okay that is a little bit different process so this is how I recommend you do it so first of all I recommend you put you put the clips together in the order that you want them in inside of the video editor okay what we were just in was the enhancements of a video so if you come down here where it says create we're still in your creator studio okay but down at the bottom they there's a create so if we open up this you're gonna see this is where we have the audio library where you can find free music to be able to add to your video music policies this explains the music policies that they have let's get back down to the video editors we're going to click on video editor so this is probably where most of you are automatically going in to do your videos and then and you're not understanding how to trim because you don't actually trim in this area okay you actually trim in the enhancements so what you do if you need to put multiple videos together you just drag them inside of here right you just drag them where you want to go okay this is that garden video again all right now let's say we wanted to uh, let's add and you, you, you do have some quick fixes here panning and zooming and brightness and slow-mo but you notice they don't give you a trim they don't give you a trim they give you the filters you can put you can throw a text overlay on here if you wanted to see how it has the text test over xoxo so you can put a quick little overlay if you wanted to on there yeah it's not you know you can make them you can make it lower if you wanted to it says banner height see how you can make it you can make it um lower you can make the color a different color i can change it to orange you can position it on the bottom you can position it in the center you can position it on top so it does give you some customization and you can actually decide how long you want the banner to be run so we're going to click pause on that audio same thing you can turn the volume up the base, the treble. Okay, now let's say you wanted to add another. Um, I'm just going to click X out of that. Let's say you wanted to add another video. Let's click out over here. It'll give you an option. Let's say I wanted to add this Dollar Tree haul to it. You drag it down. It will now do this video, the one that's still rendering. Hey YouTube, it's Joanne here. And Let me just get rid of this middle one. Okay, so I just got rid of the middle one. So now we have the garden, we have the Dollar Tree Hall. Let's say, for example, we wanted to put these two videos together. We can worry about the edits afterwards, worry about trimming the beginning. You could actually trim the beginning if you want here. You can trim the end. So, for example, I know there's a lot of people that will, like, turn on their camera and then they'll walk to where they need to be for the video and they don't cut that out they just leave that in you could easily trim that by just doing doing a trim right here you can actually do a trim right here if you wanted to or you can wait and just render this and then take this video you know combined you call this the combined video raw files right hit create video it'll create the raw file for all of these and then once that's done rendering then you go back to your creator studio 
edit the video and use the enhancements to trim all the little pieces out that you need. It does take a little bit of time, guys, but there are a lot of options that are available inside. You can actually add a couple of photos if you wanted to. So you could actually put a, put a video, drop in a couple of pictures if you wanted to. You can drop a song in down here, adjust the song for volume. Look, all these options are here. You can even, they even give you transitions. So you could even do a fancy, you could drag this right in between two things if you wanted to, and you could trans, see how that just did that transition? Watch, let me just show you again. See how it did that transition? You, you can even put transitions inside of the YouTube video editor. It's a really, really powerful tool. I highly recommend that you take a look at it. So if you like this kind of videos, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up comment below and let me know if there's any other questions or anything else you would love to learn about editing videos. Uh, I'm trying to go for some very reasonably priced solutions for you guys and help you be able to enhance your videos. Make sure you head on over and subscribe to my other channel. That's where I'm going to be popping all these videos up. I'm putting this one up here for one of my subscribers that requested it. I wanted to make sure that she saw it. All my future videos about YouTube channel enhancements and optimizations and social media strategies are all going to be over on my other channel. Uh, just click the card above the description box below or just so search Be Socially Awesome on YouTube and you will come across that channel. Thank you so much guys for hanging out with me today. You guys be awesome. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'm going to chat with you in my next video. Bye guys.